Somebody was recently asking, what are our biggest Swampsonii palms? I'm going to show you the biggest ones. And it's funny, look at these ones here. They're towering over all these other ones. Gigantic. But the biggest Swampsonii, Trachycarpus fortunae Swampsonii palms in our ravine are these ones here. And you got to remember the growing conditions. These are neglected palm trees. All right? 100% neglected. Right here. They're growing under the canopy of alder trees. So when these get their leaves on them, you got to remember these are in the shade. And uh, those are the biggest ones right there. There's one, two, three, four there. And there's one here. Gotta watch where I walk. They're everywhere. Look at this. this. These were flooded over, okay? But now they're just in mud. The seedlings right there. And then we have... It's so wet down here. There are seedlings everywhere. Those are the biggest Trachycarpus fortunae. So I walk. Oh, just stepped on one. <laughs> I'll go in from the back side here without slipping. Right there. So those are Trachycarpus seeds that I threw down here eons, eons ago. Eons ago. And uh, they're pretty happy campers. The branch out of this one. You can see the trunk. Branches in here. Remember, these are like they're growing in the wild, right? They're growing in the forest. Never damaged by cold. Never manicured. They just grow on their own in this very wet area. Constantly wet. And like I say, some of them are growing in standing water. They're beautiful. Palms, they have uh, longer petioles because they're stretched out from the... stretching out because they're in the shade. So that's what they look like, folks. Trachycarpus growing in the forest. You have to love it. Here on Salt Spring Island, so if you're looking for a cool place to buy with lots of palm trees, hit us up. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. And it is winter. It's late winter right now, by the way. And they're thriving. Never damaged. Never ever cold damaged, these guys. Cheers.